Hello everybody, I'm back. Uh, I'm going to continue my benchmarking situation here. Um, so I'm going to do three more benchmarks, fur mark, performance test, and 3D mark, which would probably be the longest one. I have two more here, but um, I'm not quite sure how to work them as a benchmark, so I may skip those. And Catzilla is like a trial program, so I'm not even going to bother with that one. Um, you know, if they don't if they don't let you work it for free, then it ain't for me. So here we go. We're going to do fur mark. That should take a little time. Um, that should also tax the video card quite a bit. So again, I only have a 1080p monitor, so unfortunately, all I can do is 1080p, full screen. Anti-aliasing, we'll put it all the way up. Uh, what's this preset? It does have 4K, but... Because the video card actually can render it in... 4K inside the hardware, but and then then it'll spit it out on the screen as 1080p. But uh, I'm just gonna do oh, wait a second. Okay, I got you. What's this here now? <coughs> Uh, post effects, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I really didn't, uh, I never read up on this junk. I probably should. <coughs> Extreme burning, I don't think I want to do that. That doesn't sound good. Um... Dynamic camera, I guess that's so you can move it around or something. I don't care about that. Alright, so let's just do this. I don't know what post effects is, I'm not sure. Um, so here we go. I guess we're ready. I wonder how long it's going to go. So this is the, the uh, again, GeForce GTX 1070. Um, it says here, core is running at about, <coughs> say, 15, well, it says 1620, but uh, now 1569. So say about 1600 megahertz, probably average. Um, right now it's using 80% of the GPU power. Fans at 50%. The memory is 4000 megahertz. <coughs> yeah, frames per second is hovering around the 100 mark. GPU is up to 71 degrees Celsius already. So I'm not totally sure how far this is going to go. I don't remember when I did it last time.
it probably will stay around 80 degrees Celsius. <coughs> it may get a little bit hotter, but I have the air conditioning on in here, so that should help things out a bit. So I'll be surprised if it gets, you know, too a lot above 80. <clears throat> but from what I understand, as long as you keep this card under 100 degrees Celsius, you're you're pretty safe. That's pretty extraordinary. I mean, that's pretty hot. You're talking about boiling temperature. It's it's even amazing that it gets up to 80. And this is only at, you know, 1920 by 1080. I can't even imagine what it what happens to it when you put it up to 4k <laughs> that's pretty uh... although I don't know I, I think at one point even though 4k I guess it renders more pixels on the screen so I guess that's why it's got to do more work but You would think that a video card, once it gets to a certain um, capability, like say the 1080 can run things at 4K, I guess. I mean, that's what I hear. Although I still was hearing that even that is rough on that card. You know, that it doesn't matter up to, you know, at a certain point, like, you know, a Titan X should be able to run 4k at no problem but then again you know I don't really know if the teraflops make a difference if the calculations are not you know because even though you might have 11 teraflops if if it's not doing the right calculations you know, then it doesn't really matter, you know, how powerful something is, you know. You have to do the right calculations. You have to have the right chips on the video card to be able to do certain tasks. I guess it would be no different than a CPU. I mean, if you don't have certain um, things programmed into the chip, then you can have the most powerful chip in the world but if all you have it capable of doing is like you know doing algebra problems and that's it you know then uh, that's a lot of power but it, it doesn't have a really large capability <coughs> and uh, you know I guess that's what their uh, AI AI um, GPU is all about that probably does a whole lot of like particular high intensive mathematical computations analyzing and stuff Looks like we're halfway there. <coughs> 82 degrees. It seems like it's, uh, at least at this point, it seems like it's leveling off at about 82. That's pretty nice. 
Even my 970 didn't really get... I'm trying to remember if that get up to 90. I have the video on my YouTube. I have to go back and look at it, but... I think that one did pretty well. I didn't really care for this test too much. <coughs> Just because it takes a long time. A really long time. I guess I could like speed up the video or something. Put some music to it, I guess. I need more feedback from, you know, my, my subscribers. I don't really have enough feedback from from people to find out like how they like me to do certain things and <clears throat> whatnot. I mean, I only have so much I can do being my own person. I'm just one 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 guy. Got to do everything. All the video editing, all the recording, all the time spent playing games, you know, doing these kinds of tests when I get a video card, and, you know, on top of that, I got a family to take care of, you know, work to do at the, around the house. I really wish I had another person who was good with graphical stuff. You know, production, I guess. I mean, I, I can, I have a lot of good ideas, but I don't have the programs, number one, to put those ideas into action. And number two, I don't really have the, the skills that I would like to have to be able to make everything happen in a quick and efficient time period. So, because of that, I don't bother doing certain things sometimes. <sighs> I mean, I don't want to, I don't think, you, I don't think it, the word would be lazy. I'm, too, I'm not really a lazy person. I guess it's just tiresome. You know? And, you know, I don't like doing things the way everybody else does it on YouTube, you know. You know, when I look at YouTube, I'd, I see a lot of similarities in the way people, number one, present their videos, present their thumbnails, and that kind of thing. And me, I'm, I'm all about in-game, you know. You know, I, whatever you see in my thumbnail, I want it to be from my game or from this pro program or from, you know, uh, or even from the subject that I'm talking about, you know. So, I mean, there's a common thing that... Uh, I just notice, and I've talked about this already on YouTube videos, is that, you know, somebody is projecting in their thumbnail a scenario that really doesn't exist. Like, a game is much scarier than it really is, or, you know, um, or they'll put like a you know, a hot looking female <laughs> in their thumbnail and it's got nothing to do with whatever they're talking about. And, um, you know, or even just a crazy picture of something and it has nothing to do with what they're talking about. They simply put it there so that you clicked on their video. 
And to me, that's just, that's being deceptive. I mean, that's just wrong. And um, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be that kind of a person, personally. I mean, I'm not perfect. I got my flaws, you know. I say things sometimes that, in a way that is not doesn't come out right all the time. You know, there's a lot of things wrong with me, but I certainly don't want to be deceptive and be dishonest. You know, I don't, I don't particularly care about those kinds of traits. I don't want to be somebody I'm not. You know, I mean, I try to do my best. I try to be nice to people. I try to, you know, try to be there to help people when they they ask me. You know, but uh, I just have flaws, and that's it. <laughs> you know, I bump heads with people occasionally. It's not something I want to do, but it just happens. So it definitely looks like we're at a level off here. I mean, I don't know if this thing is going to end. I'm not sure. Um, I think there there is an ending to it. If we put what 60,000 milliseconds, whatever that means. Let's see. One millisecond. Um, milli is a thousand, right? So. So it would be s no, that can't be right. It can't be sixty thousand, can it? Because that would be sixty seconds, right? <laughs> Sorry, I got the sniffles again. Forgive me. It's like near a hundred degrees here. And, you know, the, it's like 100 outside and it's like 75 in the house. So as soon as you walk in the house, you know, you, you get a little stuffy because of the temperature difference. So um, I'll try to avoid that. It's a little hard, though. I apologize. All right, so... It looks like everything's pretty consistent. So here it is. Um, it looks like frames per second minimums at 93, maximums 128. We're averaging about 104 frames per second. So I would imagine that's good. We've been going on for 15 minutes now. And I really commend you if you're still sitting here listening to me speak. <laughs> I appreciate that. I really do. So I think we're almost done. So I hope it pops up a score and just doesn't shut down. But... Uh, on my screen, it's um, butter smooth. I mean, there's a little bit of like, kind of like a slight shaky movement when this fur thing is spinning around, but I'm not sure if that's actually my video card problem or if that's just the way it's rendering it anyway, no matter what kind of a card you put in here. Alright, so the max temperature went up to 83, but it seems like it's leveling off at about 82. So that's pretty nice. So let's hope this is the end here. It's going off the screen. I mean, I guess maybe what you do is you're supposed to look at it until it levels off. So... Yeah, I think that might be what it is. Because I didn't really put, like, I didn't really even look. I thought it was six minutes, but uh, 
Yeah, so I guess pretty much you just look where it levels off. So it looks like, again, average frame rate's 104. Minimum's 92. Temperature, 82. So that's not bad. So, okay. So I guess I'm going to end it. I mean, if it does pop up a score, uh, I'll add that to the video, I guess. But it's been 17 minutes, so you guys have been a champ if uh, you stuck with me all this time. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate you looking at it. So the, one, the uh, 1070, 1920 by 1080, uh, it's eating this up for breakfast. So no problems at all. All right, take care, guys. Thanks. Bye.